thing, so it counts for something. Tell you what, I usually ride solo, but I'll stick with you for now. You try and pull anything stupid, and I'll bury you. So I think you can have these guys. These guys help you out uh, for what you're gonna be doing in a minute. But I, I don't really help them. I mean, I don't really use them. What's what's going on? Who are all these people? What? I've never seen any of you before in my life. Last people I saw were... Oh my god! Aliens! I was taken by aliens! You! You must be the aliens trying to get into my mind. Well, that's not gonna work! Private Elliot Tekorian. U.S. Army Medic, serial number 3477809. That's all I'm telling you. <laughs> Hey, you could be one of those little green guys in human form, or maybe you are human and they just took over your mind. We have no idea how limitless their powers are. Yeah, it does have a point. I... I suppose so. Look, all I want to do is get back home and back to the rest of my squad. Wait a minute! My men! My unit! Have you seen them? Oh my god. I'm responsible for them. And now they're lost. Or dead. Please, if you mean what you say, that we're all in this together, then you've got to help me find out what happened to them. Okay. Okay. Sorry about all this. I just can't believe this is happening. Huh. Um. I'd really like to, but when I woke up on this ship for the first time, all of my medical gear was gone. I saw that the aliens on this ship have some sort of viscous stuff they slather onto wounds. Some kind of biological gel. Get me some of that, and I might be able to mess around with it, make some sort of adapted biogel we can use on ourselves. Okay, sweet. So this is what you want to do, because this this stuff that he's gonna make you is better than stim packs, and I think I got some on me. So sure, here you go. They should work pretty well, but watch out for side effects. They do have side effects though, but nothing too bad. I mean, the chance of you getting a bad side effect is very hey there. What did you slim. Need? Sure, here you go. They should work pretty well, but watch out. I'm gonna say this for a while. What's on your mind? Sure. Hey there. What did you need? I'm still gonna need more alien. Okay, so I guess I, I gave him all that I have. Well, it was getting dark. We'd spent the day out in the trenches, keeping as many of the guys alive as we could. Chinese had been pounding on us all day with artillery from these huge guns they had up on the mountains. It was really a mess. Anyway, we pitched our tents and stowed our gear to try and catch some shut eye. I woke up suddenly, Private Dawkins screaming. He was bathed in some kind of blue light coming from the sky. All of us just froze as he just, well, vanished. We didn't know what happened. Did the Chinese come up with some new weapon? Moments later, all of us were in the blue light too. The rest, you know. Hmm. Maybe they're going to take over the whole planet. Like, maybe they've been coming here for hundreds, no, thousands of years. Waiting to hit us when we're not expecting it. And then they wipe us out and strip the planet of all its resources. I bet that's it. <laughs> uh, okay, we already said that one. Let's try this one. Me? Well, I was a medic with the 108th Infantry Battalion stationed at Anchorage, Alaska. I was with oh, Operation Anchorage, there you go. Medics. Our job was to patch everyone up after the commies gunned them down. It was pretty bloody. Nothing at all like I expected when I gave up my hospital job to enlist in the army. He looks like a Japanese samurai. Guess the aliens must have plucked him from Earth a long time ago. I can't understand a word he's saying. No one can. I think that's it for us. Just hurry up and find us a way off the ship before we all end up frozen again. All right, have we talked to everyone? 
Well, what I just do you want to see if she has, if we have any other dialogue. Doesn't matter now. Only important thing is, well, I guess it's revenge. Doesn't matter. They're not getting it, whatever it is. This guy keeps it short, so I like him. Can't say as it matters, or that I'd feel like telling you anyway. So you, you know, there's not much more to say. It wasn't just me sucked up into this place. My wife and my boy too. I can still hear them, crying out to me, begging me to save them. And there wasn't a damned thing I could do. They were, they were everything to me, you know? So now I've got nothing, nothing at all. No sense in dwelling on it now. Let's just get out of here. Some sort of foreigner, obviously. Can't make out a word he's saying. Fine. I'll be here. Nice. I think we talked to everyone. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Sally, though. This is the final person we need to talk to. That poor astronaut. Those freezers are so dangerous. Sometimes people don't wake up. I guess you better take his suit. You're going to have to go if he can't. But first, you have to get to the door to the outside. They'll be waiting for you. But you can suck out all the air and part of the ship, so they won't get in your way. They have these generator things that power parts of the ship and make sure it has air. You'll have to turn some of them off. There's one in the cryo lab, one in the hangar bay, and one where they make the robots, the robot assembly area. Once they're all broken, you can get through that door to the outside. And then, once you get to the top of the ship, you can turn the teleporter thing back on. And I can catch up to you. I guess it's time for me to get those doors unlocked for you now. This is fun. Oh, you'll know them when you see them. You push this button, and then this big thing is like, whoosh, and it comes <laughs> out of the floor. And then, there are these things you press down, and it goes, <laughs> and then you better get out of the way. Let's see. Um, I think he's from the Earth's past. There are people frozen all over the ship that the aliens grabbed, wearing funny old-time clothes and stuff. Don't go alone. Those generators are in scary places. Take one of the grown-ups with you. Yeah, no thank you. I can do it myself. I like the experience. Alright, so we got 12 minutes left, so let's go ahead and uh, head. We'll just go right. We'll just go around in a circle. Right. I think there's... Where's the other one at? There's one... Is there one in there too? I guess there's only two generators. Just throw the one in the... This. Oh, see there's more than two. So what is this one? We could probably go here. Doesn't really matter which one you actually I'm gonna do that one later. I'm gonna go to the one to the right first. What you want? The hell I didn't even say anything to you. This is a pretty big place. And I've only seen some of it. They always catch me before I see the whole thing. I've seen the cryo lab. That's where they freeze people and cut them up and stuff. Wow. And the hangar. That has the aliens' flying ships and all the stuff they need to fly them. And the robot assembly is where they build the big metal robots they use. But the real important stuff is on the top of the ship. I've never been there. Alright, so why did you talk to me? Don't worry, I'll be safe with these guys. They seem pretty neat. Alright. 